Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing well. Today we are going to make this amazing strawberry oatmeal bars. And you know these bars, each bar is only 132 calories. So let's get started. Also before, don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. So in a bowl, we are going to take 3 tablespoons of melted butter. If you want, you could use oil instead. Then we are going to take 1 fourth cup of brown sugar or jaggery powder. We are going to add half cup of honey. Make sure that you use all the honey that's in the cup. Then we are going to take one and a half cup of regular oats. We do not use instant oats. And we are going to take one and a half cup of whole wheat flour. But let one tablespoon of flour be aside. Then we are going to add half teaspoon of cinnamon. Give it a good mix till a nice crumble is formed. This is the way I am doing it. So once the crumble is formed, we are going to shift this into a 6 inch or 8 inch baking tray. Make sure that you line it very well or add a parchment paper the way I have done it. I have used a square tin which is an 8 inch square tin. Now I am going to add all the crumble into it. So leaves little bit of the crumble so that you can put it on the top after adding the strawberries. Just make sure that the your crumble is uh, spread very well. You can even use a cup to press the crumble to the base properly. Or you can do it the way I am doing it. Once that is done and it's set well and it's kept properly, you can keep it in the fridge for 10 minutes or leave it outside. Now we are going to move towards the strawberries. So all you need is 2 cups of chopped strawberries. You can even take 3 cups of chopped strawberries. Then we are going to add 1 teaspoon of vanilla essence. Or you can add any other essence that you like. We are going to add the 1 tablespoon flour which we kept aside before. And I am going to squeeze a little bit of lemon juice. Now mix it really well. And add it to your oats crumble mixture just on top of it if you want you feel you can add more strawberries that's up to you so here i am adding my strawberry mixture to the crumble base oats crumble base just spread it properly so that each side gets a good amount of strawberries now it's ready, I'm just pressing it a bit and then I'm going to add the remaining oats crumble on top of it. Make sure that you don't add too much of crumble also, you won't be able to see the strawberries. But this oats crumble, it tastes really really well. And you can just have it for your breakfast also. So now I'm going to bake it at 180 degrees for 30 minutes. Once it's baked, you can just cool it for 10 minutes and then give it a nice cut. You can even store this in an airtight container for up to a week. And if you store it in a fridge or freezer, it can go more than a month. Hope you enjoy this recipe. And don't forget to watch till the end to see how beautiful this oats crumble looks. Thank you.